All right, so in this video, we're going to learn how to identify and create unit fractions, what unit fractions are, keeping in mind uh, that the reminder of what is a fraction in the first place. Fraction means you have to be able to identify what the whole th thing is, like what represents one whole. You have to be able to represent um, all the parts that have been cut up into equal pieces, so that's the denominator. And lastly, you have to be able to recognize that some of those parts are shaded in or being emphasized, that's the numerator. So uh, let's get started with unit fractions. All right, so for our first fraction, we can see that there is the one whole, that, that line represents the one whole. And now the question is, okay, so since we've identified what one whole is, do we have equal parts, meaning do we have a denominator? And yes, we do. We can see that we have three equal parts. Now, where do I see those three equal parts? I see one right here, one right here, and one right here. So we have three equal parts. Now, this line is telling us that one of those three parts is being emphasized. And then the unit form, that one out of three, that one out of three, we're gonna call that one third. So we're gonna write the number one, and then I'm gonna write the word third, T-H-I-R-D. One third is what that unit form represents. And then in numerical form, we're gonna write it as one third. All right, so with this one, we see that this thing right here represents our one whole. So we have our one whole. So the really next, the next question is, do we have equal parts? Has it been cut into equal parts? And we can see that, yeah, it has been cut into six equal parts. And then uh, how many parts have been emphasized? Well, we can see that the, it looks like they're trying to shade in one out of those six. So we can say, yep, we've got one equal part, which means we're going to call that in unit form, we're going to call that one-sixth because it's got six equal parts and one of them has been emphasized. And so in numerical form, we would write it like that, one-sixth. One on top, that's the numerator. And then six on the bottom, that's the denominator. Numerator, denominator, one-sixth. All right, so for this one, we've got a trapezoid. And so that is our whole, our one whole. So that is our one whole. But then that next question, that next part of a fraction is, has it been cut into equal parts? And we can see right here, these are not equal parts. These parts on the bottom are a little bit larger than the parts on the top. So this is, they're not equal parts. So we have no equal parts, which means this is not a fraction. I mean, it's not the way, it doesn't satisfy our definition of what a fraction is because we don't have it cut into equal parts. So it wouldn't even matter if, if one of these pieces has been shaded into because we don't have equal parts in the first place. And that wraps up uh, unit fractions. The idea of recognizing what a whole is, do we have equal parts, is one of them being shaded in, and that's a unit fraction when that top number, one, one piece, is being emphasized out of all of the equal size pieces.